currently working on what could be my greatest masterpiece. What is this masterpiece? Your portrait, my dear Jonathan. It will be my gift to you, if I ever have time to finish it. Have you met any famous painters? Are you trying to divine my age by cross-checking historical dates, my dear? That's a devious parlor trick. Well, Elizabeth, I tried my best. Don't I deserve some reward, at least? Well, if you must know, I even posed for the greats. Now that you know it, you may recognize me when visiting museums. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. Apparently, we're beloved. Dirty trick that thing played, though. Who cares about one drink? for now. I don't care about that restaurant right now. Ooh. It's locked. Say, there's that's definitely a vampire. Why aren't they fighting each other? I cannot enter. It's innate! Child's play. Do to do. I excite me for a gentleman. It ain't human. Kill it. God, what me? Filthy murderous bastard. Not sure why that takes away my. Uh... Whatever. This is definitely a very merciful world. Lock and lock. Find access to the teacher. There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. Oh, over here. Where I was earlier! 
I came here earlier and I couldn't get in. If only you'd let me come here earlier, I could have found the source of the investigation and it would be already over. I don't want to go down there just yet. For now she hides in shadow, ugly as sin. But when you burn and die, she will rise and be queen again. Is this that bloodling, the Red Queen lady they were talking about earlier, covered in blood and thirsty and unsatiable and all that? my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah, but Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you, but I can help you. I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die. For that was her final wish. You kill here and obey. For your queen commands you. Attack! <laughs> Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she beauty was once renowned. Will she be the queen again once they are sure <laughs> My children, my beloved, die for the love of me. Your blood will meet my hunger! 
Oh, what? I thought I still had a lot of life left. Well, crap, I got kicked. My butt kicked got. Hmm. Well, I have this. Let me go look over here for blood. See what's over here. That not hurt. Yeah. Uh, I more blood. Uh, I want to go out that door. All right. I can't believe I'm doing this. Better than the me? Woe unto thee, son of Babylon! On guard! <laughs> Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she who <laughs> once renowned. Will she be the queen again once they all share her fate? Ow. Ow! Ow! God! Oh, you f- My blade shall pierce your villainous heart. Are you freaking kidding me? Her reach is like 20 feet. Why on earth is everybody in this game's reach like 20 feet? Am I... Everybody else got the cool vampire powers. New plan. to oh. okay you killed my father ha. touche sir ha. 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 Yo. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she now. Will she be the queen again once they all share her fate? Oh my 
go, woman. <sighs> Good grief! Uh, wait. I beg you, wait. What? I... I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me, then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me, then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <gasps> Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher. The greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Farewell, Doris. A little dramatic. Don't you think? Bravo! So dramatic. I love it. McCullum. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat. You and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. The West End should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection. While I continue my research during the Great Hunt. <laughs> now we will escape. And figure out what to do next. <coughs> He just wants to be loved. Yeah. I mean, there may be, but she's gonna... These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Or... We kill them all. So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Why was 
is that bullcrap? Okay, that was absolute bullcrap that he got those off and did that. Absolute bullcrap. The fact that I am pick that up. Almost died. Wolf crap. Holy crap. Seriously? Like. Wow. There's no way that guy should have gotten out of the room. Are you freaking Are you freaking kidding me with this bull crap? What the heck did he just do to be able to do that? No, I have a bar just like everybody else, you little crap. Oh my god. If I'm such from if I'm such from such a powerful and ancient lineage, how come everybody else has cool freaking powers and mows over me? He just started sucking my blood. God, like even the regular scowls are stronger than me. What kind of bull crap is that? I feel gypped. I feel absolutely gypped. Absolutely gypped. Good evening, Miss. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Why do you still hope to become a vampire in spite of your mother's refusal? It's the immortal aspect of vampires that interests me. The world won't improve unless women take charge. I'm convinced of that. You're obviously a clever woman with a good education and a brilliant future. But have you thought about the price you'd have to pay? The loneliness? The necessary masquerade? Is it not true of every high position? To change this world and make it a better place, one needs time on one's side. Tell me, Charlotte, how do you plan to achieve eternal life? since you've obviously given it a lot of thought. I won't give up. You have no idea how determined I am, sir. I may contract a deadly disease. I may throw myself under a carriage just to be saved by her sweet kiss. That's a disturbing answer, young lady. And the worst part of it is, I know you speak the truth. There are less dangerous ways, Doctor. Instead of throwing myself under a horse like Emily Davison, I could just throw myself into your arms. Be careful what you wish for, young lady. I could gaze at you right now and then take you to a shady corner and have my way with you. And leave your carcass to the rats. You... you wouldn't dare. How could she suspect me? Oh my god. For one second, I thought you actually... Excellent, Dr. Reed. Very convincing. <laughs> Your mother has refused to turn you into a vampire. Tell me more about it. Each time we argue, Mother expresses the same fear. She wants me to remain alive and full of joy, rather than become melancholy and immortal. She claims you can't have one without the other. It's pure selfishness. Your mother has walked this earth for much longer than you or I. She is wise, and we should not ignore her advice when we disagree with it. But why shouldn't I be allowed to forge my own experience? There can't be only one righteous way to deal with eternity. <clears throat> it's your mother's choice. As do I love my mother, and have accepted everything from her. Even that she named me Charlotte. And it was not my original name. Does it bother you? No. Whoever I was when I was born, I am now Charlotte Ashbury. 
It hurts as much as it makes me proud to know that's the name my mother will read on my tombstone. Goodbye. She's been quite... I kind of want to eat her and see if Ashbury knows. Does that make me a bad person? I never claimed to be a good person. <laughs> For as long as I've been a member, I've never seen so few vampires attending the club nights. Ah. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. I must admit the guard of Prewen impressed me. They must have spent years preparing their plan. We repelled the intruders for now. But how long before they return? Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I did my best. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. Sure. As you wish, my lord. Good. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. How would you like... Don't worry. Aloysia... So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. Goodbye, Lord. All right. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And... I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. 
The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Ooh. Please, tell me more. As long as you lower your voice. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Huh. Why so vindictive? Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the Reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, my dear. Well, welcome back, Dr. Reed. That sucks. But what if I also want to be a tyrant? What if I also want to be... It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. Shooting from a distance. Very unsportsman. He's one of them! He's so fucking fast! making me bring my weapon out. Goodbye. Really? Like, oh. It's locked. 
Why is everything locked? All the stinking I should find time. another way to get into the neighborhood. God. This is getting out of hand, man. God, are you serious? Oh! God! I am so sick of those ones! Freaking stop spitting it out everywhere! I just want to go from point A to point B! Why is there like freaking things every 10 steps? And they don't let you just go past them! Get the crap out of my way, you prick! God! There's only supposed to be one, not like four! I don't want to freaking fight the whole stupid thing right now! Get the crap out of here! Oh my god. What?! Are you kidding me? Out of here with this bull crap that you have. You guys even stand a chance. Who are you to just randomly hit me and send me flying and topple me over? You guys are nobody. God, I hate that. These things are freaking nobody, and yet they're able to do all this bullcrap. I had almost forgotten I applied for a position at Pembroke. It was so long ago. I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. I'm so sick of having to fight every little freaking freaker here. Really? 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 What is the space bar for? How can he just spam it? Are you freaking kidding me? What the heck is the point of me telling me I'm from some ancient powerful lineage if some random vampire on the street can whip my butt? Are you kidding me? Why couldn't the space bar freaking little sh zoom zoom thing Get me out of there! Oh my god! I don't want to fight these freakers anymore! Just let me go to my destination! Oh my god! Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god! ARE YOU FREAKING KIDDING ME?! ARE YOU FREAKING SERIOUS?! WHAT THE HECK?! THIS IS LIKE THE EQUIVALENT OF A HOMELESS PERSON WITH NO TRAINING, DECREPIT, BROKEN DOWN, BEATING A, a FREAKING GREEN BERET! WHAT THE HECK IS GOING ON HERE?! GOD! THIS IS SO STUPID! I DON'T- I SHOULDN'T HAVE TO KEEP KILLING THESE PEOPLE! Freaking bull crap! Get out of here! Oh my god! god. Are you serious? I just blood speared the guy and he's gonna spear. Do like a jump into that? I don't think so! Have some freaking dignity! How's the guy gonna jump? Like, it makes no sense! Just in like the stupid... 
even if it didn't actually do all that much damage, the simple fact of getting hit would cause you to go the other direction by momentum. God. How does that, like, encourage the... Piece of crap! Really? I do a super special abyss move and you're gonna summon a shadow guy while I'm doing that? Get out of here! Get out of here! Bunch of bull crap. How is it that a bunch of street urchins are somehow able to... Like, I just don't understand. What's the purpose of being some high progeny of some super ancient, powerful, whatever, and I'm also part of that super powerful, ancient, whatever, if a random little scroll thing can take me down? This is despicable. It makes no sense. Other than being very good looking. Never understood that about this kind of stuff. I cannot enter. Two hits? Like three hits and I'm almost dead? Like this is just it's it's absurd. It really is absurd like how weak the character is. Like seriously. Like look at that! A f no. Freaking backhand can kill me. about to say of Ascalan? Guess what? I'm working for your boss, dude. About to say respect the laws of Ascalan. I'm one of you, douche. Apparently not a very good one, though. I don't get why some of the bosses are easier than, you know, some of the uh, regular scrolls. Oh god. I don't get it. 
Maybe I just suck at combat. That might be it. That's probably it. I probably just suck. That seems like the most reasonable course of action. Louise's father was determined to find and save her. What are you doing, dude? How did Alicia Dawson get back if, you know... How did he get there if all the ways are blocked? I cannot enter. Locked, all right. This is confusing. Do I go back? Sense. Killed Louise, whatever. Come down here. Oh, this could take a while. <laughs> 